Hey there guys, this is John TM back with another video and today I wanted to talk about a topic that is very dear to my heart as well regarding GTA and, and the online community and the multiplayer and everything so there was a recent news that came up via IGN they announced in the blog post that uh, Grand Theft Auto since the beginning of time once they launched it 2017 Hello, has been the biggest year of the most users who have been online. In fact, the December, the last month that just went away, that was the most user-based month for Grand Theft Auto Online, where there were so many people playing that it was the highest number for all time. So that's just amazing what Rockstar has said. I mean. It's uh, obviously because of the Dooms Doomsday Heist as well because um, so many people just came in to play it that high so obviously that went ahead to you know add this and obviously they were like planning on this as well they launched the heist at a date where it would give them a good closing at the year, year end as well. So the only problem with the new expansion is that everything is so expensive you know it's like a lot of work that you have to put in to get the kind of stuff that you want to get but even though it's expensive but we're still thankful at least I'm still thankful that Roxy is still creating some good content for the game I, I just wish that instead of you know making things too expensive they would just tone down the prices a bit maybe they would you know in the near future once they come up with you know 50% discounts or 25% discounts uh, stuff like that so it's just like once they launch something new it's expensive and after a while they give you some promotion where you can get the same thing at a discount or rate so still it's an amazing thing that Rockstar is still coming up with content for the game I wish that they would just go on forever just like that making new stuff another thing that I would like to add is that if it's possible, I don't think it's going to be in the scope of the game, but Rockstar should add a new map as well for the game. Instead of just um, adding more content, they should add a new map to the game or make some more buildings live. So that people would have some more social places to go to within the game and fix the damn connection issues, man. I mean, there's so many damn connection issues once you're trying to play the free mode. That's, that's a real bummer least for me I've, I mean I've tried everything but it seems that this is something that Rockstar has to fix 